The story of Sir Bobby Charlton is not merely a narrative of a man who excelled on the football pitch. It's a testament to the transformative power of the beautiful game. Born on October 11th, 1937, in the mining town of Ashington, Northumberland, Bobby Charlton's journey is one that transcends the boundaries of time, etching his name indelibly in the annals of football history. From his early years in a mining community to becoming an iconic figure in English football and international competitions, his life and career are a remarkable saga of talent, resilience, and unwavering dedication. The genesis of Charlton's love affair with football can be traced back to his upbringing in a family that had the sport deeply ingrained in its DNA. His father, Robert Bob Charlton, a coal miner by trade, was an ardent supporter of the local football club, Ashington AFC. It was amidst the backdrop of watching his father play for Ashington and later serve as the club's secretary that young Bobby's passion for the sport took root. By the tender age of six, he was already a regular spectator at the local matches, keenly absorbing the nuances of the game that would go on to shape his destiny. But Bobby's connection to football extended beyond his father. His mother, Sissy, was an exceptional women's footballer in her own right. Her influence underscored the importance of precision and technique in Bobby's approach to the game, leaving an indelible mark on his style of play. Their collective passion for the sport was the fertile ground from which a footballing legend would eventually sprout. In 1953, a pivotal chapter in Bobby Charlton's life began when he signed for Manchester United, a club that would become synonymous with his name. As the young Northumbrian took his first steps onto the hallowed turf at Old Trafford, he couldn't have foreseen the enduring legacy he was about to create. His performances at the Theatre of Dreams were nothing short of magical. A midfielder by trade, Charlton's elegant and precise playing style was characterized by accurate passes and blistering strikes. He was not just a playmaker, he was a goal scorer too, showcasing a unique ability to both create and score goals. His vision on the field was unparalleled, and his powerful shot, combined with a keen footballing intellect, earned him the affectionate nickname, The Fifth Beatle, a reference to the legendary Liverpool band. While Charlton's individual brilliance was undeniable, one of the most enduring chapters of his career was his partnership with fellow legends George Best and Dennis Law. Together, they formed the Holy Trinity, a formidable trio that inspired Manchester United to unprecedented success. With Charlton as the linchpin of the team, they clinched the First Division title and the FA Cup. However, the most iconic moment was yet to come. In 1968, Charlton and his teammates made history when they secured the European Cup. This achievement was all the more poignant for Charlton, who had survived the Munich air disaster in 1958. The catastrophic plane crash had claimed the lives of several of his Manchester United teammates, casting a traumatic shadow over his career. But it was this very trauma that forged in him a deep sense of duty toward the club and its fans. It fueled his passion for the game, serving as a constant reminder of the enduring memory of his fallen comrades. In the summer of 1966, the world turned its eyes to England as the nation hosted the FIFA World Cup. Bobby Charlton was at the heart of it all, anchoring the midfield and producing performances that would be etched in football history. His exceptional goal-scoring ability was on full display, including a memorable brace in the semi-final against Portugal. The pinnacle of his international career arrived in the final against West Germany. Charlton's contributions in England's victory were nothing short of heroic, earning him the golden ball, an award given to the tournament's best player. His performances in the World Cup were not just individual accomplishments, they were a testament to his dedication 
as well as his ability to inspire and lead his team to victory on the grandest stage. Charlton's journey was not without its share of challenges. The Munich air disaster, as mentioned, left an indelible mark on his life and career. The resilience he showed in the face of adversity is a testament to his character and dedication to the sport. The determination to honor the memory of his fallen comrades fueled his passion and commitment to the game. After retiring from professional football, Bobby Charlton ventured into football management, briefly taking charge of Preston North End. However, his contributions to the sport extended far beyond the touchline. He held various positions within the Football Association, the FA, and served as a director at Wigan Athletic. In recognition of his remarkable contributions to football, Charlton received a knighthood in 1994. He has also been inducted into the English Football Hall of Fame and received numerous accolades for his services to the sport, including the prestigious FIFA Order of Merit. His impact on football reaches far beyond his playing career. It endures in the modern era, serving as a guiding light for the sport's future. Today, Sir Bobby Charlton stands as a living legend. His name is synonymous with the beautiful game, and his impact as a player, manager and ambassador continues to resonate with fans and enthusiasts alike. He embodies the enduring spirit of a footballing icon. His remarkable journey is a story of triumph, resilience and an unwavering love for the game that continues to echo in the hearts of football fans worldwide. To this day, the legacy of Sir Bobby Charlton remains an inspiration for aspiring footballers and a symbol of the enduring magic of the sport. His remarkable journey is a testament to the transformative power of football, where a young boy from a mining town could rise to become a global icon. Sir Bobby Charlton is more than just a footballing legend. He is a symbol of hope and achievement, a testament to the enduring power of the beautiful game. Bobby Charlton's legacy extends far beyond his individual accomplishments. As a graduate of Manchester United's Youth Academy, he played 758 games and scored 249 goals during his illustrious 17-year career at the club. His achievements include winning the European Cup, three league titles and the FA Cup, solidifying his place among Manchester United's all-time greats. On the international stage, he represented England with distinction, earning 106 caps and scoring 49 goals, including a historic World Cup victory in 1966. His contributions to the sport did not end with his retirement as a player. For 39 years, he served as a director of Manchester United, further cementing his enduring connection to the club. His unparalleled record of achievement, character and service will be forever etched in the history of Manchester United and English football. His legacy lives on through the life-changing work of the Sir Bobby Charlton Foundation. Bobby Charlton is rightly regarded as one of Manchester United's greatest ever players, having scored 249 goals in 758 appearances. He was a key figure in the club's European Cup victory in 1968, securing his place in the annals of footballing history. Ashington-born Charlton also played an instrumental role in Manchester United's three First Division titles and FA Cup victories. The world of football and beyond mourns the passing of this legendary figure. Sir Bobby Charlton's impact on the sport and the lives of countless individuals is immeasurable. His legacy endures as a symbol of hope, achievement and the timeless magic of the beautiful game. Right, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching. Please hit that like button. If you've enjoyed this video today, then you'll probably enjoy the video showing on your screen right now. Click now and we'll see you in the next video.